In this video, we're comparing ClickUp versus Monday versus Asana, three of the most popular project management tools out there. If you're trying to figure out which one's right for your team, this will help. We'll go over how they work, how easy they are to use, what they cost, how they help with teamwork, and what features you actually get. You'll walk away with a clear picture of which one fits your workflow best. And by the way, if you want to see how these three stack up against Trello, Notion, or Rike, I put together a free comparison chart. It's the ultimate overview of the top project management platforms. The link is down below. And if you already know ClickUp or Monday or Asana is your pick, my affiliate links are there too. No extra cost to you and it helps support the channel. Thank you very much. And now let's get right into it. What do these tools actually do? Let's start with what each tool is and what it's built for. ClickUp is more of an all-in-one platform. It handles task management, but also lets you write documents, track goals, log time, and more. So if you like having everything in one place, ClickUp is built for that. Now, monday.com is very visual. You manage projects using colorful boards, similar to a spreadsheet mixed with sticky notes. It's made for organizing work, tracking progress, and keeping teams on the same page. Asana is focused on task and project management. You create projects, add tasks, assign them to teammates, and track deadlines. It's simple, clear, and great for staying on top of what needs to get done. How easy are they to use? This is a big one, especially if you're setting it up for your whole team. ClickUp gives you the most options, which also makes it the hardest to learn at first. There are more views, more menus, and more settings. It's not hard, but it does take a little more effort to set up the way you want it. Monday.com is also beginner friendly, but in a more visual way. Once you get how the boards work, it's easy to customize things and start building out your projects. It might feel a bit busy at first, but it grows on you fast. Now, Asana is the simplest. You can jump in, create a task, assign someone, and move on. It's clean and fast with barely any learning curve. How much do they cost? Let's talk pricing early, because what's the point of falling in love with a tool if it doesn't fit your budget? ClickUp offers one of the most generous free plans, with tasks, docs, dashboards, and sprint tools included. Paid plans start at $7 per user per month for small teams and $12 for mid-sized teams, adding Gantt charts, dashboards, and more automations. They also have an enterprise plan with advanced security and customization. Monday.com gives you a free plan for up to two users, good for testing things out. Paid plans start at $9 per user per month with more storage, automations, and integrations. The standard plan is $12 and the pro plan is $19, which adds time tracking and private boards. There's also an enterprise tier with deeper control and security. Asana has a solid free plan for up to 10 teammates with unlimited tasks, projects, and messages. Paid plans start at $10.99 per user per month with features like timeline views, workflow builder, automations, and reporting. There's also a higher plan at $24.99 for portfolios, workload tracking, and advanced controls. Nonprofits get a 50% discount, which is a nice bonus. Now, how do they help your team work together? All three tools are built for teamwork, but they do it a little differently. ClickUp goes a bit deeper here. You can comment inside tasks, assign people, start conversations, and even have real-time chat inside the app. You can also build custom dashboards to give your whole team a shared view of progress. It's great for keeping everyone on the same page, even across different projects. Monday.com is made for visibility. You can see at a glance who is doing what, leave updates, tag team members, and even create automations that notify people when something changes. It cuts down on back and forth messages and helps everyone stay aligned without needing extra tools. Asana keeps things simple. You can tag teammates in comments, leave notes on tasks and attach files. Everyone can see what they're working on and when it's due. You also get notifications to help you stay in the loop. One downside, by default, it sends a lot of emails, but you can dial that back in the settings. What kind of features do they offer? 
This is where the tools start to separate a bit more. ClickUp gives you everything Asana does, and then adds docs, time tracking, goal setting, whiteboards, mind maps, Gantt charts, and more. You can customize how you view and manage tasks. There are also features for setting company goals and tracking them alongside your daily work. Monday.com focuses on visuals and automations. You get flexible boards that you can customize with columns like priority, deadline, owner, and more. You can automate status changes, build reports, and even track time if you're on a paid plan. Monday also has over 200 templates to help you get started fast. Asana gives you task lists, Kanban style boards, calendar views, and timelines. You can break big projects into smaller tasks, set dependencies, and use recurring tasks. It's great for planning and execution without getting overly complex. Do they play well with other tools? Integrations matter, especially if your team already uses other apps like Slack, Zoom, and Google Workspace. ClickUp supports deep integrations with over 1,000 tools like Slack, Zoom, Google Drive, GitHub, Calendars, and more. You can even automate tasks based on things happening in other apps, which is helpful if your team works across different platforms. Monday.com also integrates with lots of tools, around 200, including Google Workspace, Microsoft Outlook, Slack, and more. You can even set up automation rules that trigger based on updates in those apps. For example, a new email in Outlook can create a new item in your board. Asana connects with over 100 apps, including popular ones like Microsoft Teams, Zoom, and Google Calendar. You can sync tasks with your calendar, link up files from cloud drives, and more. What are the pros and cons of each one? Let's be real, no tool is perfect. ClickUp is super powerful. You can build out workflows exactly the way you want. The free plan is strong, and you get features that other tools charge for, but it takes time to set up and the amount of options can be a little bit overwhelming if you're just starting out. It can also lag a bit on bigger workspaces. Monday.com is clean, colorful, and great for visual thinkers. It makes teamwork feel more collaborative and the templates are a huge time saver, but the free plan is limited and you'll need a paid plan for most advanced features. Some users also find the mobile experience clunky compared to desktop. Asana is simple, reliable, and fast. The free plan is generous, it's easy to set up, and your team won't need training to use it. But it lacks deep customization, and you can only assign one person per task, which can feel limiting. Finally, which one should you pick? Here's the truth, it depends on what your team needs. If you need deep customization in all your tools in one place, ClickUp is the strongest pick. It's especially good for tech teams, startup, and anyone managing lots of moving parts. Now, if your team likes visual dashboards and need a flexible system that's easy to follow, Monday.com is a solid choice. It's great for marketing teams, sales, or collaborative work that needs visibility. And if you want something easy and clean, Asana is a great starting point. It's focused on getting things done and staying organized without extra clutter. So here's the thing. None of them is a one size fits all. The best one is the one that fits how you work, not the one with the flashiest features. And if you're still unsure, the good thing is that all three tools have free plans. So you can try them out and see what feels right. And don't forget that if you want a side-by-side -side breakdown of these and other tools like Notion, Trello, and Rike, download my free comparison chart. The link is down below. And if you already know which tool you're going for, you'll find my affiliate links there too. So if you found this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate if you can sign up using my link. Thank you very much. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.